Hi, Hiram here. The other day I did a little video on let's see what's inside a Trangia. This is one of my old Trangias that had cracks in it from previous uses and tests. So I thought what the heck, cut it open and there we can see the uh, liner. The liner that we never see but we always hear about. Anyway, I got a couple of questions from people that I thought I'd try to answer today. Uh, Tony Bushcrafts said I wanted to ask if the liner was in pieces, not sure if you cut it for the video, or is it one solid wrapped piece? I would also like to see a closer detailed look at the side cut, always in a bright light. Okay, so what I have here is I think the cut was from me cutting it. Now I've pulled it out some. It was actually stuck back in. It's hard to tell without taking it out. This is one piece that I have and then ah it was one continuous piece that was sewn together can you see that so it was just from my cutting the one side and then it pulled over and I cut another side off but it looks like the thing was one wrapped up piece interesting now I'll never get it back in there again but <laughs> and Here's a close-up view of this little piece. You can see that it's woven material. So I'm not sure yet what it is. It could be cotton, could be fiberglass. Now somebody had said, who was that? Uh, Ward for Peace said, close-up at the beginning looks like asbestos and it broke like it. I don't think it broke like it. it. It tore like material using a hacksaw on it. Plus, I'd like to think that the Trangia people wouldn't send, send stuff out with asbestos in it. They seem to be a, you know, upstanding company, so I don't think they do that. So, asbestos, I don't think, is a possibility. Um, it could be fiberglass. You know, here's a piece of fiberglass. It's woven with fiberglass strings. But it could be that, but this is a, a whole lot tighter. I don't think, well I know, it's not carbon felt, because carbon felt looks like felt. This doesn't look like felt, this is some sort of woven material. So it's not felt. It could be carbon fiber, except it's white and not black like carbon fiber usually is. I don't know if I've ever seen white carbon fiber. But uh, we'll find out in a minute here. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Oh, that was Chewy and Jasper said, as hot as the Trangia gets, I imagine that this is carbon felt. No, I don't, it's not, I'm pretty darn sure that it's not carbon felt. Also, David, I apologize here. David Ganiu said, can you tell me approximately how many hours of use it takes a crack, takes to crack a Trangia burner? Also, could the crack be soldered up to keep it going? Furthermore, have any of your titanium burners cracked from use so far? I really think that the way I was testing the Trangia is probably what caused it to crack. Um, a lot of my tests were fill it with alcohol and then run it until it runs out and stops. I think that run out all the time is what messed it up and cracked it. I think in normal use where you don't let it run dry, although I did that yesterday on my new Trangia, but I think normally you wouldn't let it run out until dry. You would stop it and refill it. So I don't think cracks will form that way. As far as getting it fixed, I had somebody on the internet on YouTube say that he'd solder it up for me and I sent my worst one to him and then the guy disappeared. So I guess it could be soldered, but uh, I don't have the type of uh, soldering equipment for doing that. At the price of what, oh, brass filings are coming out. At the price of what this thing costs, I just get new ones. So did I, yeah, I showed you that, showed you that. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to take this short piece and I want to put flame on it and let's see if it burns. If it's cotton, it'll burn. If it's fiberglass, it won't burn. 
it's burning so I'm willing to bet it's cotton fiber see that really going up now the thing is you might be saying well how can they put carbon fiber in the stove it'll burn in the stove thing is it won't the carbon fiber or not carbon fiber the liner is on the inside of this Let's see if I can stick it back in here it's on the inside the flames are up here on the outside of the stove they never actually that was good <clears throat> the flames never actually get into the burner so you can use carb or you can got carbon on the mine you can use cotton in a situation like this the flame never touches it so you don't have to worry about it burning it's when it's on the outside and you're actually burning like the people that use cotton balls for uh, using some of their alcohol stoves if it's exposed to the flame it will burn so I'm willing to bet that this is just some form of cotton yep so I hope that helps I thank Tony Bushcraft Chewy and Jasper Ward for Peace and David Ganiu for their comments I hope this answered it. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And <laughs> as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.